amateur insect lovers have been busy studying bug populations in Germany for more than 30 years. And their fieldwork has confirmed something which is alarming both amateur and professional scientists alike. The entomologists from Krefeld observed a nearly five-fold decline in pollinating insects between 1994 and today. Nearly 90% of all flowering plants are pollinated by animals, and much of our food depends on them, from our breakfast cereal to our beer. We must see that 70% of the wildbeans from Aussterben bedroht sind, also extrem gefährdet sind. Aber genau diese Wildbienen zusammen mit anderen Insekten leisten die Hälfte der Bestäubertätigkeit in Europa. Das können wir nicht ignorieren, sondern da müssen wir auch Maßnahmen für den Schutz wild lebender Bienen ergreifen und auch ganz stark nach vorne schieben. And it's the thousands of species of wild bees and insects like hoverflies and wasps, which do the legwork or the wing work to ensure that crops are fertilized and bear fruit vegetables, nuts and cereals. There are some major drivers. So one of the most important ones is uh, intensified land use, but also homogenization of land use and also the kind of loss of structure in landscapes. But also climate change plays a role, diseases as well, and invasive species. Parliament is calling on the EU to do more to protect insects and their habitats via the EU Pollinators Initiative. MEPs supported tighter restrictions on harmful pesticides responsible for insect decline and are now calling on the Commission to do more. Es ist ein guter Ansatz, ich will das gar nicht, äh, gar nicht weg, schlecht reden, aber es geht nicht weit genug. Und wir müssen vor allem äh, über die Genehmigungspraxis für Pestiziden reden, weil da gibt es große Lücken und da muss die Kommission jetzt auch liefern. Parliament will now examine the steps the EU needs to take to protect Europe's biodiversity, economy and food security.